boy Rider Gun Guy, and I'm back with y'all, man. Today's video, uh, I got a couple things I want to show y'all. I've um, got some new products, um, and everybody likes new products, new toys when they come in, you order, and or you go to the store and pick up something. You know, it's always fun to get back home and play with and all that good stuff. So, um, I got a few things I'm going to show y'all today. Um, and a few things I'm gonna talk about real quick. I don't wanna make this a long video and I wanna stay uh, focused and on track so that um, I don't just get to rambling because I will get to rambling um, about anything when it comes to these guns and, and, <laughs> and what I wanna do and plan to do. So uh, without further ado, um, first we have the Shadow Systems XR920. And I brought her out for a couple reasons. As you can see, obviously she has the Hollison uh, red dot on there. Um, I decided to go with the HS407C. Um, I know a lot of people like to go with the uh, 507C, um, but from my understanding, the only real difference um, in that, in this red dot is the uh, 32 MOA um, circle that it comes with instead of it being an actual dot. Um, and I'll explain in one second why I got this one over that one and why I preferred it. Number one, I don't really care for um, the open dot. Um, I'm getting used to looking at this, like this is very new for me. I had one on, um, what did I have, SIG, um, what was that? Oh, SIG P320 uh, X Compact that I ended up putting the Romeo 1 on there. Ugh, I really didn't, was not a fan of that setup. Not the gun or the red dot, but um, yeah, I tried it out just to see. It took me forever to try and get it zeroed in. So I just, honestly, I gave up on it and was like, I work very good with irons and I can shoot pretty straight with irons. I do have a tendency to go left, but I definitely think that's with my trigger pull um, and you know needing to adjust that. But again, man, went ahead and threw that on here. And I put it on here really um, for the look and the aesthetics. I'm like I said, I'm definitely going to practice uh, with the red dot, with the Hollison on there, um, you know, to get better. Um, dare I say it's zeroed in already, but if I line up my irons in the right spot, the dot co-witnesses right there in the same exact spot where, so again, I can't say it is zeroed in. I have not shot it yet, had it for about a week now. Um, and yeah, just really, really enjoying it again. It kind of completes the look of this gun. Everybody has red dots on any and everything from 1911s to um, little C 365s and stuff like that. People putting red dots on and companies are producing them with red dots. So it's very popular, um, but you just do have to get used to them. Um, you know, finding the dot once you get it up in front of you. And I really think that's got something to do with your practice um, of drawing your weapon and getting it out in front um, in the correct position. I'm gonna definitely keep practicing with this. I'm gonna try to take it to the range this week and shoot it um, just to see where I'm at with it, see how it feels. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, it looks really good. Um, like I said, I went before 7C. Reason being, now again, I always talk about my guy Rick at Spoken Barrel uh, Gun and Ammo. I get a lot, both of these weapons I got right here, y'all can't see the other one yet, but both of these weapons I got from him. Um, right now, I think I have seven in my collection from him. Uh, probably going to be eight this week because he has something in there and it's nothing like too exclusive that I'm going to get, but I really wanted it and I want to, you know, kind of pimp it out the way that I want to do it. I hate to say it like that, but kind of, you know, dress it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that will be eight, but Everything in the shop is very reasonably priced. All of the weapons are anywhere from 10 to $50 less um, in his store. Sometimes even $100, just depending on if it's a rifle or you know maybe a shotgun or something, it might be even a little less. Sometimes he does have it maybe $10, $20 more, but it's still much more reasonable than a lot of the places that you find um, your weapons on. So I said, Rick, I wanna try Red Dot. Um, and I started looking in the cabinet. Well, I saw he had the Hollisons in. Um, I had been looking online, and um, like Amazon, certain places, um, pricing them out, just trying to get an idea of it. And most of the places that I looked, it's anywhere from like 220 to 250, 270 some places. Um, the 507 is 
um, like 300, 289 to 329 I've seen a couple of places. So they're not cheap at all. Uh, I'm not a cheap person, but um, spending another weapon on a red dot when, you know, I enjoy the weapons more than, you know, all the bells and whistles that come, you know, with it. And that's kind of excessive to me. So the reason I got this is because Hope y'all can see that. And this is my guy. He, Rick is very old school, so he don't have too many price tags or anything. If he does, it's a Rick price tag. But yeah, this was $174.95. Again, probably anywhere from $50 to $70 cheaper than anywhere else you're going to find it. Um, I couldn't pass it up. He had four in there, and he had like some rifle gold dots. He had the green dots as well um, in there. I had the 407K and these and the green dot but i went just went with the red dot just because i wanted to you know start somewhere and get used to something so yeah that's the reason i went ahead and got this i couldn't pass it up and i'll probably go ahead and grab another one um for the next weapon i'm gonna bring up but yeah man very excited about this um and i again even more excited because of the price i got it at I have to show y'all this so that y'all can see because I was like, yo, 175, I said, Rick, you're killing the game right now. He said, well, I'm not trying to get rich. He said, you know, I'm just trying to supply supply my people. I said, I completely understand. That's why I'm here. I'm shopping with you constantly. <laughs> Every week, you know, I'm in there getting something. So uh, to end off the shadow systems, I did get a little sticker. Um, I had to place an order with them. Uh, that's the, I think it's the MR920 Elite. But yeah, it's really cool looking for my range bag. Went ahead and got that. But I got this because, I don't know if y'all paid attention last time, but the Magwell was missing um, on my original collection video that I did uh, three weeks ago. Um, I had to order the pin and the um, like little receiver part that goes in there. I had to order it from Shadow System because it was not in my um, bag that I got with this gun. So I had to order that, um, ended up ordering some stickers, the, uh, the patch. Um, and what else did I get? I think I got a shirt as well. Um, but yeah, place to order with them. Um, I saw on the website on the, you know, most of the blogs or whatever that all you gotta do is let them know you didn't get something and they will send it in, send it to you for free. Um, I really didn't care. Like I said, I wanted to order a few things anyway. So all it was was the pins. And like I said, the little receiver piece in there. So yeah, I got that taken care of. And again, she's she's put together very well. I had the light on it um, for a few days just to kind of give it that like ultimate look. But I really don't like the whole light red dot, super bulky looking like a taser robo gun. Um, that's really not my thing, simple and clean is what I go for in my weapon. So yeah, man, that's enough of the shadow systems. Um, like I said, got my little patch to go with that. Um, secondly, um, these Norma non-expanding defensive rounds. They came out maybe, I wanna say maybe a month, two months ago, something like that. I got the email from Norma saying they had a new round out. Um, I wanna know if anybody has tried these. It's not the newest technology or anything like that. They are the, I think, probably one of the latest to come out with one of these rounds right here. But um, I want to know if anybody um, got them. They're 65 grains, 1,730 feet per second um, at 432 foot-pounds of uh, force or torque or whatever. Um, 20 rounds in the box. I think I got it for like $17.99. Um, again, nothing uh, that I don't have already, but I just was you know, kind of intrigued by new ammo new products that come out, new things that get released. And, you know, look, I just, I like my toys. I like gun toys. So <laughs> went ahead and got these. I don't think I have them loaded up in anything, but I was just wondering if anybody else uh, jumped on that train and kind of got some of these. Like I said, I got three boxes of them. So just wondering if anybody else did or, you know, knows about them. I said, I, I may put them, put them in a mag and load them up. Uh, to carry, but I can't make any promises. <laughs> I usually go to Norman to order my range rounds, um, but they've been out of stock lately. Um, well, maybe about two weeks now they've been out of stock. So um, yeah, I've been ordering uh, elsewhere, which brings up brings me to my next point. I completely forgot, but brings me to my next point um, with ammo um, and ordering and you know finding sites and things like that. So. This came from 2awarehouse.com. Now I'm gonna tell you how I find a lot of my 
um, or how I have found a lot of my websites that I shop on for ammo, for gun parts, for anything, is because I deliver in um, a rural area where there are a lot of pro 2A um, people out there. <laughs> and they represent it very well and, you know, they wear it well. So, um, yeah, I deliver a lot of ammo. I deliver gun parts. I, de I deliver to two people who have FFLs out of their home. Um, so, you know, it's, hey, they love their guns out there and I get a lot of tips. I see the guys in their safes. Um, again, I deliver a lot of ammo. I delivered from this site uh, one day, the dude had like four boxes. I was like, yo, what is this? And I, I knew it was ammo, but I was like, you know, what did you get? And he was like, yeah, told me the website. And the guy usually look at the boxes to see um, where things are coming from, especially if I know it's ammo or, you know, where I'm delivering it. Um, if I know the guy or whatever like that, then, you know, I'll keep an eye out and try to get some ideas. But this right here, 250 box um, of nine millimeter, 124 grain, uh, 8250 again ammo can and 250 rounds 8250 I think shipping was maybe eight or nine dollars or something maybe ten dollars or something like that um, that's the only part that gets me is shipping um, so now because of where I live in my new home um, I live pretty close to Cabela's which is the outdoor store um, um, y'all may be aware maybe one around you may not but um, it's one very close to me so they have um, pretty good deals on ammo, pretty good selection of firearms, pretty good selection of um, accessories and all those things like that. So that's kind of where I've been going. And last but not least, um, I want to jump into my FN509, uh, this little baby right here. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, she's clear too, but I hate um, showing weapons without the mag. It's upstairs in this pool, I didn't want to unload it. But um, I got some questions for y'all. So I'm definitely thinking about getting some work done to it. Now, the place that I want to get the work done is here in North Carolina. It's called NC Engravers. Um, from what I've seen, they do very, very, very good work. Very sharp, very clean. Um, they, they do good work. <laughs> and so I want to send it off to them. I was looking on the site that, uh, um, the past few days and I want to get some stuff done. So I want to get an optic cut put on here because I do plan to again uh, Getting these red dots for this cheap. I can't pass it up So I want to get a um, put a red dot on here probably run the same 407 on there um, And they also offer you know cuts in your slides and stuff like that. So I do want to do um, maybe Maybe three cuts. Um, I know for sure. I do want to get the top cut out only reason I want to do that is because this is a pretty heavy gun, pretty stout gun. You load it up with the mag and she becomes a nice little brick. <laughs> she definitely becomes a brick. So I want to kind of try to reduce a little bit of weight to it, especially adding the red dot. I don't know, but yeah, I'm probably get some cuts done here. And I do want to get it Cerakoted. Now I know some of y'all might be always blasting me because the FBE, the, um, the FN FDE is very popular and everybody loves it. I love it too, that's the reason I bought this gun, but the coating is not the best on here. Um, not sure if y'all can see, but she gets dirty and like black around the edges and all of that. And call me whatever you want, but I like my guns to look good. I like them to um, look just as good as they function. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a Cerco job done on this. May get it done you know, back similar to something like this, but I just, I do have to get um, this covered and taken care of, because I really, uh, I don't like the way that looks. But yeah, I plan to do some work on this very, very soon. Y'all let me know what y'all think um, about this, what I, what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Maybe I should leave it stock, I don't know, but I really like it and I want to make it, um, you know, just mine to my personal um, little gun, little FN or whatever like that, so. Um, I do also plan to do a little bit of um, the same type of work to my uh, 43X, my Glock 43X. Um, I do want to get some work done to that one, some uh, possibly add a red dot. Um, I hate to say it, and I, I can't even, I uh, haven't even mastered this one, but I'm about to go red dot crazy. And I'm gonna just let y'all know why. Number one, um, I, I, I want to upgrade and make everything it is that um, I have fully, you know, to my standard, to what I want it to be. Um, I am gonna keep purchasing weapons, but now is the time for me to, again, just kind of personalize and make things the way that I want them 
um, to be and just kind of adjust um, the weapons because, you know, everybody has what I have. Everybody can get what I have. So, you know, let's try to, you know, spice it up and, and, and give it something that, you know, we, you can't find everywhere. That's my goal. And, you know, try to be a little bit different, get that wow factor whenever I pull my stuff out. So yeah, we definitely got some work to do. Oh, I'm gonna come back with um, um, what I want to do for my subscribers giveaway. Now, y'all going to you know, be like, what in the world? But for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, um, I was supposed to give away 100 rounds of ammo to five people. Um, of the five people I drew, I only got in contact with three. I do still have all that contact information. If you're watching, um, I'm gonna send another email and I just wanna make sure it's straight um, because I wanna get with you to send you the money to buy your ammo. Um, again, I know a couple websites where you can get it from. Um, I was going to buy it, I was going to ship it, I was going to get one of these cans. Actually, that's what I bought this for. I bought this can for that. I was going to get this can, load them up into um, blue MTM um, ammo cases and ship them out. Then it was like, hmm, should you really put your fingerprints and hands all on, you know, the ammo that you're going to ship out to, you know, people that you never met or, you know, it, it, it's ammo. So it, it could get used for anything, but it really wasn't the smartest thing that I came up with. So it's like, what can I do? What can I do? I have to make this one right because we're about to hit 3000 subscribers. Really appreciate all of y'all. Um, and I, I want to do something for that as well. So, so again, I appreciate y'all.